Hey guys, welcome back to the Not Only Carrot Show here on YouTube. I'm Leah and today I'll be sharing with you my caffeine-free vegan iced coffee. Let's get started. Okay guys, before we begin, if you'd like to support this channel, purchase a copy of my e-recipe book, No, We Don't Only Eat Carrots. Check out all the information in the description below. All right, let's get on to our iced coffee. Grab yourselves a jug that can handle hot water. We're going to add to that our coffee alternative. Today I'll be using Caro, which is a hickory, chicory and rye combination, and you can purchase other brands as well. We're gonna do a heaped teaspoon or one and a half teaspoons. And yeah, in America you can get Pero, there's Nature's Cuppa is another brand you can get in Australia. So just have a look around, there are actually quite a lot available, especially in health, health food aisles and at health shops as well. And because they're caffeine free, your kids can join in and have one of these vegan iced coffees as well. Yeah. Yeah. Once you get the lid off your Rapajira, we'll add equal amounts of that to our um, jug as well. So one and a half teaspoons of that as well. Rapajura is evaporated cane juice. It's just our sweetener to add in with our drink. If you don't like sweet things, you don't have to add it. But if you wanna have another sugar alternative that's also vegan, check out my video up here for some other alternatives. We're gonna to add to this one centimeter of boiling water, which is about a third of an inch for those in the States. And that's not actually adding any heat for our drink naturally, because we're going for an iced coffee, but it's just gonna dissolve those ingredients. Keep stirring until you can't feel any grittiness and that way you know it's dissolved. It doesn't take very long. You can swivel it around a bit. All right, that feels good to me. I'm gonna to add to that one cup of a vegan milk. I'm gonna use this so good um, soy milk today. It's lovely and creamy, not sponsored or anything. It's just yummy and I like it. So it's 250 mils or a cup if you're measuring by cups. Stir that through. You can use other vegan milks as well. Almond milk will work, rice milk, oat milk, whichever you prefer, but I love soy milk. It's just too creamy for me to pass up. And once you've combined that with your caffeine free coffee mixture, we will now get it ready in our glass. You'll need a tall glass guys and a heap of ice since it's an iced coffee. And I just love to load it up with ice. I just go, go hardcore, fill it up. That should be good. All right, we're gonna drizzle our iced coffee, or our coffee over the ice to make it iced coffee. I reckon we could fit in even more ice than that. Let's go, a couple more pieces. Oh yeah, look at that, okay. Now, to make this super, super special, as if you've just gone to a coffee shop, but it's in your own home, I'm going to use some of my very own soy whipped cream and I've put it in the soy whipper. You can check out our unboxing episode for some ridiculous, hilarious escapades up here. I'm going to find my nozzle, which I forgot, and I'm gonna spray some on top. I'll be right back. Okay, I found my nozzle. It's one of these little ones with a star at the end in case you have one that you want to try yourselves at home. There are actually also vegan cream dispensers that you can buy like this just even from the shops. If you just look around, I think in the States, they're pretty, pretty common. In Australia, you can buy them online. All right, so you've got to make sure you really get that cream down into the bottom section of your whipper and swivel it around and see how it goes. So here we go. Oh, oh no. Don't do that. It was really good. <laughs> it's gonna do the same thing it did in the unboxing. It actually works really well. I made this last night, so it should actually work really nicely. Here we go, it's working. Yes, go, work. Oh yeah, whoa, look at that. So good. All right, I'm gonna dry my hands off a bit. I've got some car over here, which is what we use in place of cocoa, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of that on top. How good does that look? If you wanna turn your iced coffee into an iced mocha, just grab, and, and make it caffeine free as well, grab some carob powder and do a heaped teaspoon in with all of your other ingredients when you did the hot water, and it has that beautiful chocolatey taste. And that looks so good. I'm just gonna grab, I have a straw in here. Look at this. We can even put a straw and go, dink. And I can even put my little, I have a beautiful caffeine-free vegan 
iced coffee with my carob fingers. So good. I'm going to have a taste. See what I reckon. Oh, that is so yummy. Hang on. Sorry, it's just compulsory to have a little bit of the cream on top. That is so good. And it's so light and fluffy with that cream. That is amazing. Guys, I cannot wait for you to try this out. Let me know in the comments below if you've made a vegan iced coffee before. Have you tried a caffeine-free version? What did you think? Let me know. I can't wait to hear from you. Subscribe to the channel, of course, if you haven't already. Make sure you hit like on the video too, guys, and share it with a friend. All right, we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye.